This is a photo I took recently, a special cave when we was at the coast. I was at a place called Sutton on Sea at a vintage fair. And I thought this would make a great sketch, but it's very cluttered. You can see there's sort of lots of things happening on, going on in the background. And there's lots of colours there to distract. And I just wanted to do a pencil sketch. So I thought, you know what? I could convert this photo to a black and white. And that is exactly what I did. So once I'd done that, the sketch is going to become so much easier because all my darks are in there and lights and everything. And you'll notice that um, not only if I go back to the original photo, You'll see the background is quite sharp and in focus, but I um, did a job on the photo and put the background, uh, made it a little bit blurred, and also sort of popped the highlights on uh, Kerry to uh, bring her forward, but kept the background a little bit greyer. So I did a lot of um, design work for the sketch in, I, I used Affinity Photo actually, but in so in the um, photo app before I even got into doing any drawing. So let's do the drawing. I chose to use Procreate for this uh, drawing. Uh, one reason because I just love the 6B pencil. I love the uh, blending you can do by uh, tipping the pencil on its side and sort of just um blending pencil in with that or you can do the sharp line thing going off it's just such a versatile pencil and also i wanted to do a grungy background so i used the grunge brush uh, put that on just sort of scrubbed over the old one layer and locked that layer for the background i didn't change the background color i kept it white but by using that grungy layer i've sort of give myself a mid-tone ground to work on so i can the idea was when i'm near nearly finished the drawing i will be able to put some highlights in that are white which will really make it pop so the rest of the drawings all drawn with a 6b pencil and uh, just the black and i get in sort of just roughing in all of the shapes so I can um, have everything laid out, fill in the canvas exactly, well not exactly, but as close as I can to uh, everything being proportioned correctly. And then I start straight on the face. And it did occur to me that when I do portraits, I um, always do the face first. And I was wondering why that is. Because if I'm doing a landscape, I, I look at the bigger picture and I paint all of the sky in and then the foreground and then work to the detail. If I'm doing figure, uh, a portrait or something like that, I always go in for the detail first. And I think the reason for that is it's um, a confidence thing. I think I'm always wondering, am I going to get the lightness? And I think if I don't get the lightness, I'm wasting my time doing the drawing. So if I get that right first, then I can continue and do the rest of it um, and not worry. So I've done the difficult bit first, if you, if you see what I mean. Um, I'd, I'd like to know what other people feel about that. Do, you, do other people do the same thing or do you sort of work on the old uh, canvas and sort of bring everything along together? It's only with portraits I do that. Everything else I, I kind of work on the old canvas and bring it together but you can see here i've really concentrated on a special case face and and trying to get that right before i move on i mean i do continually tweak it all the time i sort of keep looking at it and thinking oh that's not quite right that's not quite right but i spent quite a bit of time just sort of getting uh, that right and you can see i'm sort of using the uh, pencil on its side to do shading i do a li little bit of cross cross hatching in places and uh, it's just such a cool pencil the 6b pencil it's a default pencil in procreate it gives such a natural look and then i'm still using that pencil up but i've sort of um changed the thickness to 
uh, I've just pushed it right up and I'm using it uh, more like a, a stick of charcoal I guess to do this shading in but you can get the really cool blacks what I love about digital drawing is if you're using a traditional HB pencil and you try and get anything black you get a gloss on it it's shiny and you can ruin a drawing by it uh, becoming really really shiny um, so you need to look at colored pencils or charcoal to get those really dark colors but digitally you don't have to you can just use that one pencil and you just get that evenness of color and when you get it printed out it looks absolutely stunning so that's another reason why uh, i like to draw digitally instead of traditional the actual end result just looks so so sharp so you can see i've got a, a combination going off here of uh, blending by uh, shading to using the pencil on its side to sort of do thick shades and then i'll cross that over it i use the eraser i've got the eraser set to the 6b pencil as well because uh, i wanted the uh, i don't want sort of any artificial lines being created by using the eraser and getting a sharp edge or a blended edge like you're using an airbrush is got to be the same as the pencil mark so that's what I'm doing there the glass is always fun I always like drawing glasses uh, when they've got I'm, I was gonna I'm not gonna say alcohol in but you know anything in really because the way the light bounces off them it just makes them so interesting to draw and you can spend as long on that uh, as anything else and I particularly like the way in this one where You've got the um, refracted light distorting the shape of the hand behind the glass. And it's little details like that that I think really make a sketch and sort of bring it to life. I did struggle with the perspective of, of these sort of slats on the table a little bit. Um, not so much perspective as, as getting the gaps the right distance apart. So I sort of... It, thickening them up and erasing them and and working on it and this uh one of the few times i actually crop the canvas as i'm working i felt that um i wanted to keep it like the photo i'd already cropped the photo to allow for um you know sort of taking off uh the space at the right hand side so i thought i'd do that on the sketch as well and you can see i've, I've cropped that now I do crop the other side as well a little bit later on so that's a nice feature in procreate that we waited forever for but uh, i'm glad we've got it now i like um the way also that when you shade you can if, if you keep it loose enough or you know you don't overdo it you can actually see the sh the pencil marks where you've shaded in your hand as um sh shaded in the really dark areas or your pencil not your hand but you can you can see the diagonal lines for me obviously go from uh top left to bottom right because i'm left-handed uh and there we go and then i can just sort of sketch over that shading to sort of create the impression of windows and uh roofs and, and other things and uh, what is really nice using that eraser with the pencil on it you can sort of if you think you've gone too dark you can start just lifting off the color and it's like using a, a soft putty rubber where you can just sort of dab it and, and pull that color off it's, it's really nice it really is a uh, cool app so a few videos ago i talked about you know is procreate any good for sketching oh yes it is it's really uh up there if you want to do you know a detailed sketch that looks really traditional it takes some beating i mean i love teosui sketches but if i'm doing something a little bit more uh complicated i think it's worth for me uh, jumping into procreate 
there I've cropped the I think I've cropped this side I may move that um, a board in a little bit I struggled with it I, I didn't pay when I was sketching it, the original sketch out I concentrated on the right hand side of special K putting in the people and everything but the left hand side I, I wasn't so fussed and then I suffered with it later on sort of getting everything in the right place and you'll see me um, lifting out that sort of that shape that sort of big rectangular shape that I'm working on now sort of moving that along and uh, getting that person in on the left hand side everything wasn't kind of fitting it, it just I struggled with it a little bit so I wish I'd have in the, with the initial drawing just paid a little bit more attention but I was excited and I wanted to get on with it so um you know it cost me a little bit later on here you can see I'm shuffling things around to get everything uh, proportionally right and it was important because I didn't want there was too much space and I wanted it like the photo I felt that it was it was really balanced out nice so that's why I sort of started moving everything over because you know if I would left it nobody would have known nobody would have known that that's um, that it was different to the photograph because nobody's going to see the photograph but it just needed that for me and there you can see I cropped it again on the left hand side going in with a hand I thought I, I'd set myself uh, I, I was prepared to sort of sit down and work on this drawing for six to eight hours I thought this is going to be a really uh, detailed long complicated drawing and in the end it, I think it probably took me two and a half maybe three hours tops uh, so here we go I'm now going in with the white and this for me is what just makes the old drawing pop because I created a new layer to put this white on because I thought if it doesn't work I want to be able to get it get it out without destroying the old piece and just going in with those white highlights where the lights absolutely bouncing off the leather jacket and in the hair and um, lighting up the rim of the glass the hand and this is all done cross hatching rather than shading so I've changed the technique uh, for this pencil and there we go that's just putting the finishing touches on that glass yeah I was really really pleased with this drawing there we go signing it and that is it that is my pencil sketch I should say drawing really of special K done in black and white from a black and white photograph so give it a go uh, just see how much easier it is working from black and white anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.